Hello everyone. Welcome you all on the new video. Today I'm going to discuss about common mistakes and misconceptions about Amazon title. Uh, we all know there are dozens of videos about how to create Amazon title. So I'm going to talk about mistakes and misconceptions regarding Amazon title. So you can do better in this area of listing optimization. Uh, starting point, let's share the screen here and discuss the Amazon title requirement. Now, uh, instead of reading this aloud to all of you, I will try to specify my key points, which I want to discuss with you. If we see the third point, Amazon, this, these are the guidelines by Amazon, by the way. Uh, if we see the third point, title must not contain characters for decoration, such as all these characters. And you can see this straight line here. Uh, this one, this one, which is I am highlighting and uh, many people use this um, sign or character uh, for the sake of separation of, of the keywords in their title. If I want to show you here, uh, I have just written a common keyword frying pan and here is the first sponsored listing and you can see frying pan at that particular character, then 11 inch nonstick pan, that particular character. And then again and again, uh, you will see this in a couple of successfully well-established rank products. Uh, but uh, just to let you know, this is not according to the guideline of Amazon and yes, in this uh, uh, year 2022, or maybe let's say from starting from 2020 to 2021, uh, such kind of mistakes can have some negative impact on the listing title. Don't fall for those listings which I have established history from last six, seven years. I would recommend following those established listings uh, regarding the title guidelines. Okay, so the second thing is, which definitely is not very common uh, mistake, but uh, we need to avoid this free shipping and quality guaranteed such kind of keywords. Regarding the uh, regarding the correct limit of the title, this is the recommendation of Amazon to keep the title fewer than 80 characters. But as per my suggestion, you need to utilize full 200 character uh, space. It really helps to index and rank uh, all the main and mid tail keywords, which uh, otherwise you will struggle to rank those keywords. Uh, uh, this is also a common mistake which people usually do. Uh, they use all the keywords in all caps. You need you just need to put the first letter of a word in the caps lock. Title is the most important place in your uh, listing to get the keywords indexed and ranked. So make sure you cover all different roots of keywords in the title. Let's say uh, we are discussing about garlic press and there are a couple of uh, alternate keywords uh, to label garlic press, which can be maybe garlic press and then uh, crusher and then garlic presser. Make sure you cover all the roads. If you see all the 30, 40, 50, or whatever is the number of relevant keywords for your product, all those keywords have only four to six root keywords. For example, all the garlic press keywords here, these are going to have either the garlic press, the mincer, uh, the stainless steel, and at the fourth number, the crusher, uh, smasher. These are the only words you are going to see repeatedly in all the relevant, key relevant keywords. So make sure you don't miss all those roots or at least the most important top four roots uh, in the title. Third important point is you need to make sure you are covering quantity, size, material, pack, color or whatever is the relevant detail regarding your product in the, uh, in the first half of the title. Like if we see here this title uh, Amazon has shown only portion up till this heat word for this title. Now the second word title, uh, second product title, we can see it thoroughly till the end. You need to make sure you are covering all the important details. Let's say in this case, it is the size 10 inches and uh, 10 and 12 inches. And then it is clearing simply uh, the pack of two, uh, such kind of all details in, in the title before in the, in the first half, or I would say first uh, two third of the title to make sure that the buyer does not need to click on the listing to understand all the details about your product. For example, here, 
uh, this thing it is uh, this skillet is 12 inches and it is glass covered and its color is black so all the relevant details related to the product can be easily seen without clicking on the listing and without going on the product detail page this is what you need to take care of as well point number four in my opinion there are four essential components of a title uh, without which the title is kind of incomplete. The first one is the main relevant keywords. These keywords are not more than three or four, which are very essential. And uh, all the long tail or mid tail keywords have root of these main keywords. Second one is the information regarding the product like I have shared in the previous point. Uh, for example, the color and if the skillet is with lid or without lid, is it pack of one, pack of three, such kind of important detail, which may be hard to find in the image. And uh, the third point is uh, all the mid tail keywords, or I would say the gap keywords and the mid tail keywords, uh, which you think are potential enough that if you pick those keywords in the starting so they can uh, give you the traction in the very beginning of the launch we need to put those keywords in the title and we can replace those after two three months uh, we won't uh, play with the main keywords here we will only replace the mid tail keywords which are the third component of title in my opinion the essential component and uh, these keywords help us to rank or to get traction quickly as compared to the main keyword and the fourth essential component of the title in my opinion is the list of descriptive keywords of which we always have choice and which we use at the end of the title most of the times and which helps to identify the usage or functionality of the product now in regard to decide about these keywords if you go to the seri bro and uh, uh, do the reverse as in this word frequency section can help us a lot to decide which utility descriptive usage or whatever you want to say uh, keywords uh, we should use to get more organic traction because customers don't always type exact keywords they won't always type the frying pan or the skillet or the pan they use the search terms according to their own mind or according to their own thought so this word frequency section is showing us which of the non main keywords like the keywords which are not the main keywords uh, which of the known main keywords are being used in the search term frequently. If you put those search terms uh, for the usage or functionality part or to describe our product in a better way at the end of the title, we will get traction in those customized search terms. Another important point is to identify and play with the misspells. Uh, Many of the times there are misspelled keywords in, in the relevant keyword list, which we don't know where to put. And we usually put those keywords in the backend search terms. Uh, but if those keywords have a tangible search volume and we can place those keywords in the bullet point or maybe title, I have used a couple of such keywords in the title and those keywords really help us to get traction in the very beginning with maybe less than 10 reviews uh, to get a good chunk of organic sales as compared to the new launches uh, in the same niche. So if I scroll down this uh, list here, You will see this keyword nonstick frying fan. And if I open this keyword nonstick frying fan, uh, Amazon is not auto correcting this keyword and it is showing all the relevant results. So we all know that the most important place for the misspell uh, for the keyword, any keyword is the title, then the bullet point first thousand bytes and then the uh, backend search terms. But if uh, I won't say, I won't encourage to use this keyword in the title, but if your misspell keyword can be fit in the title or bullet point that can really give you a boost to rank on that particular keyword because you have a comparative advantage here. None of your competitor is going to use that keyword in the title or the bullet point. We can always replace that later on. Uh, but yes, if you put that at in the first bullet point or in, at place of mid tail keyword, if that uh, misspell is not as much deviant as this keyword is, then we can definitely take advantage of such a type of keyword. This, you can say this is kind of a hack 
or a small tip which usually helps uh, if you find a couple of misspells which have decent search volume in your product. Another common mistake which people do is uh, you need to put the keywords in exact form in the title. For example, if I read this title here, garlic press stainless steel mincer and crusher with silicone rubber peeler. Now what I would recommend you to do is uh, let's open this listing. Copy the title here. Place the uh, this title here and add the search volume in front of each keyword. For example, garlic press stainless steel. Garlic press stainless steel uh, has around 14,783. I would click here and I would add the search volume. 14,783 and then again it's also covering the garlic press keyword which has 93,000 search volume so I'm going to add it here as well 93,000 let's say uh, search volume it is there we need to make sure that we are using the optimized uh, way of adding keywords for example if I discuss it here garlic press stainless steel now if you use this keyword or if you use stainless steel garlic press both format are going to cover the garlic press main keyword now let's talk about the advantage or comparison if you should use garlic press stainless steel or stainless steel garlic press now if we see the helium 10 data here you can always cross confirm it from the brand analytics as well uh, here is this keyword garlic press stainless steel it has 14783 search volume and here is the other keyword uh, stainless steel garlic press it has around 6000 search volume so we are getting an advantage of 8000 if we use garlic press stainless steel such kind of uh, and this is a proven thing that if you use garlic press stainless steel that is going to boost this keyword uh, much more as compared to this keyword at the eighth rank and if you use stainless steel garlic press then that is going to boost this stainless steel garlic press keyword as compared to the above one so we always see in what order keywords are placed in you know the high search volume keywords are and how we are using those in the title and to cross confirm that I would recommend to add search volume in front of these keywords and you can analyze what is the total captured search volume of your main competitors and what is your total captured search volume to see if you are utilizing the title place properly or not. Last thing about this title is whenever you put a keyword in the PPC campaign with the ranking intention uh, uh, and if that keyword is one of the main keywords make sure the keyword in your PPC campaign and the keyword in title are exact match. Make sure that if you're doing a running PPC on stainless steel garlic press then the keyword is present in the same way in the title stainless steel garlic press. I have analyzed this mistake in many of my clients and students listings that they don't match the format and the impact of ranking is different if the format or if the order of both of the keyword in both title placement and in the PPC are not same. These are some uh, minor mistakes or misconceptions about the title which if you correct you can get a good benefit uh, in utilizing the title. Hope it helps. See you soon with the next video.